हेलो एवरी वन ओवर हंड्रेड वीडियोज थ्री मंथ्स एंड सेवेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड व्यूज वॉट बेटर आई कैन आस्क फॉर आई एम ग्लैड दैट द स्टूडेंट्स आर टेकिंग इंटरेस्ट इन दीज मैथमेटिक शॉर्टकट्स एंड देयर फोर आई हैव कम अप विद येट एन अदर अमेजिंग मेथड टू फाइंड द स्क्वायर रूट्स सो मेनी ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स हैव आज मी टू कम अप विद अ ट्रिक इन विच आई कैन फाइंड द स्क्वायर रूट of a non perfect square number using some simple method so let me try and demonstrate this method let me tell you that through this method you can find the approximate value of any square root say we have under root of 84 or 84 is a non perfect square number it is not a square of any natural number so obviously the square root of 84 will be in decimals so i need to find the approximate value of this square root now now for demonstration purpose i am taking a simple number 84 then i will supplement this with some more examples now we know that the number 84 is greater than the square of 9 which is 81 and less than the square of 10 which is 100 so it lies between 9 and 10 so what i do is the lesser of this squares 9 i consider this 9 as say a so i need to find the value of a first this is the method for finding the value of a the number itself which is given in the square root sign i consider that number as b so once i have the values of a and b now the square root of 84 the rough value of square root of 84 can be found out by using the formula half of a plus b upon a now let us see whether we get the value of square root of 84 or not through this method so substituting the values i have a as 9 and b as 84 so 84 upon Again, a that is nine. So this will be half of nine plus. So if I divide eighty-four by nine, nine nines are eighty-one. I'm left with three thirty. Nine threes are twenty-seven. Again three. So this will repeat nine point three 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 will be the quotient. Now half of the sum of these two numbers is eighteen point three three. so if you divide 18.33 by 2 this will come out to be 9.16 approx so the value of square root of 84 is 9.16 approximate now this method involves only one division now here 84 upon 9 that division has to be done by the students in rough work and remaining everything can be done mentally so through this method students can get rid of the long division method which is taught to the students at class 8 level and students normally find that method complicated and right, let me take one more example to uh, further understand this method say we are taking square root of 345 now now for finding the square root of 385 we just need to know between which two squares 3 45 lies so if you uh, know the squares of say numbers up to 30 then you can easily find out square roots of numbers up to 1000 so here we have 18 square is 324 and 19 square is 361 so 324 361 so the value of a here comes out to be 18 and the number itself 345 is considered as b now the square root of 345 will be obtained by half of a plus b upon a that is half of 18 plus 345 upon 18 now this is one calculation which you need to do in rough work you need to divide 345 by 18 i have already solved that for you so that will be 19.16 so if you add them 
this will be 37.16 and if you divide the result by 2 this will be 18.58 which will be the required square root of 345 now i am writing all steps here just to let you know the exact procedure through which we can calculate the square root of non perfect square numbers but if you practice this for 15 minutes taking different numbers in the square root sign you can master that uh, process and get rid of so many steps here so let me have one more example then we will conclude the trick say we have 599 now this 599 it lies between if you are aware of the squares then 24 square is 576 and 25 square is 625 so it lies between 24 and 25 square so the value of a is 24 and the value of b is the number itself 599 so the square root of 599 will be half of a is 24 plus b is 599 upon 24 so half of uh, again 599 upon 24 this is the only calculation which you need to do in rough work so i have solved that for you it is 24.958 and now if you add them this is 48.958 and when you divide it by 2 this will be 24.479 so the approximate square root up to two digits you can calculate rough this is approx value of the square root 24.47 these are all approximate values obviously the square root goes on and on so up to two digits the value of square root can be found out by using this method so students this is an amazing method of finding the square roots if you are not comfortable with the traditional long division method of square roots so keep learning and keep sharing the videos if you like them.